geometric constructions construction of a tangent using center of the circle question number 1 construct a tangent to a circle with center p and radius 3.2 cm at any point m on it analysis a tangent is always perpendicular to the radius steps of construction draw a circle with center p and radius 3.2 cm take any point m on the circle draw ray pm and extend it to any point x take a convenient measurement on the compass and cut two arcs on both the sides of point m on the ray px name the two points a and b take a measurement more than half of segment ab and cut two arcs above and below the ray px draw a line l through the intersection points of these arcs which is perpendicular to the radius pm and passes through the point m therefore line l is the required tangent to the circle at point m second construction of a tangent without using the center question number 3 draw a circle of radius 3.6 cm draw a tangent to the circle at any point on it without using the center analysis by converse of tangent secant angle theorem if we draw angle bkr such that measure of angle bkr is equal to measure of angle bak then ray kr that is line l is the tangent at point k steps of construction draw a circle of radius 3.6 cm take any point k on it take any point b on the other side of the circle draw chord bk and an inscribed angle bak so we get a triangle bak with the center a and any convenient radius draw an arc intersecting the side of angle bak in points p and q using the same radius and center a draw an intersecting chord bk at point s taking the radius equal to distance of pq and keeping the pointer of the compass at point s draw an arc intersecting the arc drawn in the previous step let r be the point of intersection of these arcs draw line kr line kr is the required tangent to the circle question number 4 draw a circle of radius 3.3 cm draw a chord pq of length 6.6 cm draw tangents to the circle at points p and q write your observation about the tangents analysis segment op is perpendicular to line l tangent is perpendicular to radius similarly segment oq is perpendicular to line m the perpendicular to segment op and segment oq can be constructed at points p and q respectively which will give the required tangents at p and q also radius is given 3.3 cm and chord pq is 6.6 cm which is twice 3.3 cm therefore chord pq is the diameter of the circle steps of construction draw a circle of radius 3.3 cm take any point p on it take a measurement 6.6 on the compass cut an arc on the circle and mark that point q you will get the point q exactly on the opposite side of p to construct a tangent at p draw two arcs on both the sides of the point p using a convenient measurement from these two points draw two arcs on the upper and lower part of line pq draw a line through the intersection points of these arcs this line l is the tangent at point p now repeat steps 4 5 and 6 at point q name this line m which is a tangent at point q observation radius of the circle is equal to 3.3 cm therefore diameter is equal to 2 into 3.3 which is equal to 6.6 cm therefore chord pq is the diameter of the circle therefore the tangent through points p and q are parallel to each other since the sum of interior angles is 180 degree thank you for watching the academic squad